Two cops walk into 92-year-old's kitchen, Discovery has one heading straight for the door, the life of a cop is a hard one indeed, while the rest of us can turn a blind eye to trouble and strife if we like, that which doesn't affect us, anyway, cops don't have the luxury, in fact, in most situations, they're forced to tackle a problem head on, for better or for worse. That's a good thing too, especially when we see cases like that of 92-year-old Cynthia Hill, who had the good fortune to be visited by Gainesville officers Kristen Miller and Jessica Van, the two were paying the old lady a welfare check. It should have been routine, it turned out to be anything but. The Gainesville Police Department's Facebook page has described what happened when two of its officers, Kristen Miller and Jessica Van, were dispatched to Hill's home. Upon arriving, they realized the bulk of Cynthia's food had spoiled and she was all out of water due to her electricity and water being out. Earlier today officer Kristen Miller responded to a welfare check on a 92-year-old female. Her family was worried for her because her electricity and water had been out due to unforeseen circumstances. Officer Miller arrived on scene and found that all the food in the refrigerator had spoiled and she was out of water. The post reads, Obviously, the older a person is, the less likely they are to be capable of moving around as they once did. In Cynthia's case, mobility was the problem, and her situation almost brought the two officers to tears. Without a second thought, they sprang into action the only way they knew how to make sure Cynthia had everything she needed to get by. In that instance, it meant dipping into their own wallets to get her the supplies she needed. Officer Miller found out that she had no means of transportation and couldn't make it to the store. Officer Miller and Corporal Jessica Van immediately took action. Van stayed with the female while Officer Miller went to the store and purchased some consumable items and water with her personal money. Officer Miller returned with a host of purchases, including non-perishable groceries, water and Gatorade, so that the 92-year-old could keep her energy levels up. What's more, the Gainesville Police Department confirmed afterward that they were working on attending to Cynthia's utilities as well because no vulnerable person should have to live in such troubling circumstances. It's great to see good people doing good things in the world. The police officers rightly deserve praise and tribute for doing their all to make sure Cynthia was comfortable and without stress, especially since they paid for Cynthia's things out of their own pockets. Please share this heart-touching story with your friends and family and subscribe our channel for more.